Gate 4 have finally done an announcement after over a decade. I call them April babies because they fools. Seen this morning that they've put this announcement out, but I haven't watched it yet, so I thought it'd be good if we watched it together now. Okay, it's been 11 years, and we all want to know what's up with Skate? Don't we all? Is, it's early. We're still working on it. You're joking. Has anyone seen gameplay? Uh, well, a couple people have seen it. What people? Ah! Sick. It's about time. They've seen it? It just looks beautiful. This whole Play open online world. sessions like that. Oh, cool. You're listening to the fans. And those, the more mm. pop and the throwdown. Yeah, that doesn't know come live all the time. Yeah, you can cry. <laughs> Playing with all the homies will be so sick. Explain that spinning rail. Can you do that to anything? Like, I don't want to look like anybody else. You guys are in the f***ing future! Wait, the game is? The game's what? Wow. That's interesting. Really? Our big thing is don't f*** it up. You're not going to show us anything. Dude, why are you asking me? So we're just, so we're just going to end here? That's, that's it? Oh, this is such a tease. It says that they've got a whole open world. And it's beautiful, but they didn't show any of it. I'm not sure that I'll buy that. I'm pretty sure that the masses would have seen it if they actually had a whole open world done by now. So I think when they say they are just working on it, they probably are just still figuring out the physics, the gameplay, the mechanics. So the video's shown us that they've got those body suits on with the little balls on it that motion captures the person who's wearing it so they can put it graphically into the game and i've seen this somewhere before so for anyone who might not know skater xl did this before their release onto console and i'm not trying to start off any wars between skater xl and skate 4 here i'm hyped for skate 4 i don't really get why people try and play skate games off the, against each other ultimately the more gate games there is the better the more fun there is to be had but I would like everyone to remember that the skate community has been ignored by the developers for over a decade, regardless of what they've asked for, whether it be answers to what might be happening or bugs to be fixed or for servers to be switched back on or for unlockable achievements to finally be able to be unlocked somehow. And the skate community has been requesting a new skate game like crazy. I mean, every single comment on EA's Instagram, tens of thousands of comments on every single post just saying Skate 4. And EA didn't say anything for a long time. And finally, EA decided that they wanted to talk about the Skate series shortly after two indie titles came out to either Game Preview or Early Access or on their full release. Those games, for any of you who might not know, are Session and Skater XL. And I really would like to remind the community that two small developers with not a lot of staff and not a lot of budget worked for years. They worked really hard to try and reinvent skate genre. And they did a pretty good job. I mean, especially considering the size of their studios. Both of those games are, are rad. And it seems rough that EA wants to come out and make no mention to these games. I know that would be bad for business, of course it was, but I mean, skaters quite generally are about like hyping each other's products and stuff. And it just seems rough that, you know, they want to jump in on the money grab once they've seen the success of Skater XL and Session. If you are a skating genre fan, please check out both Skater XL and Session. They're both dope. They're available on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Switch, maybe? Maybe on Switch. Okay, Skater XL is coming to Switch. It'd be well worth checking them out and supporting those guys. Because then Skate have not only swooped in after that time and only happy to take the plunge once they've seen the success of others, not only have they decided to start listening to their community after that, but they've also taken this reinvention that these small indie developers have done. Well, what already looks like stolen an idea. So I wonder how much of it will be similar to Skater XL and Session, which isn't a bad thing. I think Skater XL and Session on a huge budget, that is going to be dope. And I am really, really hyped for it. But I don't want people to forget how savage EA have been about this whole thing. At the same time, I'm really glad that Skate 4 
is coming, I'm no doubt gonna play it like crazy. And I do pretty much hope that it's really similar to Skater XL and or Session, because both of those games are sick. A lot of people might disagree with me. My opinion wasn't asked for, but I just wanted to remind people of the struggle of the past decade and for everyone not to be blinded by EA trying to swoop in as the heroes because they definitely aren't that. At the same time, absolutely buzzing for Skate 4. I do hope that they do take their time and not mess it up like they said in the video and that it really is a great game. I really can't wait to play it. But that's just what I think. Jack, what do you think? Uh, should I come sit down? Yeah, man. I think it's gonna be dope.